Kim Jong-un will try to get some kind of uh, economic assistance, politically motivated economic assistance from Russia. He, maybe he will get some promises, but I'm, I don't think he will get much of real stuff. Uh, because uh, for Russia, it's a rather marginal concern. And the economic situation in Russia is surprisingly good for a country fighting such a large-scale war. But still, uh, still getting a bit difficult. So probably, uh, probably North Koreans should not expect to get much aid and assistance. But well, uh, opportunity to make money by saying sell, uh, sending their workers overseas and maybe some mi limited military cooperation. But what is important is a show. It's largely about show. Uh, he wants to create an impression that he has Russian backing, which is partially true, but he wants to seriously emphasize it. He wants to get some military cooperation and assistance, maybe some sales of the North Korean weapons and ammunition. Uh, it's basically about sending a signal to Washington that Russia is capable of creating some additional trouble in uh, for the United States in East Asia. And it's a kind of, kind of part of bargain, if you like, bargaining or maybe mutual blackmail related to the Ukrainian crisis. Uh, so the logic is, if the United States are excessively active in supporting Ukraine, Russia will probably start doing something to create a North Korean threat. Without Ukraine war, Russia would not care about North Korea, probably would follow the UN Security Council resolutions and would be reasonably reliable participant of the uh, sanctions regime. Uh, so I think that Ukrainian war was a very good news for North Korea. Second best news of the last few years. The best news was, of course, beginning of the conflict between China and the United States. It was the best news. Second best news is Ukraine because it's pushing Russia towards North Korea. It creates a situation where North Korea will get something from Russia. 